Oi, oi, girls and boys, and everything in between, it's Ace Trainer Lee, and back with another episode of Form Fight. Form Fight is a series where we take a look at Pokemon with more than one form, we have a look at the differences between those forms, and we try and work out which one is the best. And just for fun, so we can see these Pokemon on the battlefield, we also have a metronome battle between the different forms of the Pokemon. If you're a fan of the Form Fight series and you're ready for more, hit the like button to show your appreciation for this series, and of course subscribe if you're new so you never miss an episode. But with all that out of the way, let's have a look at the challenges today. Today we're going to be comparing the two forms of Raticate, Cantonian and Alolan. Now Raticate's pre-evolution, Rattata, has its own Cantonian and Alolan forms, but we won't be comparing those today because the majority of people don't leave their Rattata unevolved. A Rattata caught in Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova or Kalos will be the original Cantonian form and will evolve into Cantonian Raticate at level 20. Alolan Rattata can only be caught in the Alola region at present and will evolve into Alolan Raticate if leveled up at night, starting at level 20. So what makes these two forms so different? Let's have a look. The Pokedex tells us that Cantonian Raticate stands at 0.7 meters tall and weighs 18 and a half kilograms. Its Pokedex entry tells us people say it fled from its enemies by using its small webbed hind feet to swim from island to island in Alola. Its whiskers are essential for maintaining it its balance. No matter how friendly you are, it will get angry and bite if you touch its whiskers. Alolan Raticate shares the same height as its Cantonian cousin, standing at 0.7 meters tall, but is a much rounder bean weighing 25.5 kilograms. The Pokedex says that it has an incredibly greedy personality. Its nest is filled with so much food gathered by Rattata at its direction, it can't possibly eat it all. It commands a nest of Rattata, Different nests don't get along, whipping up severe fights over feeding ground. In terms of appearance, these two Pokemon aren't too dissimilar, basically looking like the result of overfeeding your pet rat. However, Alolan Raticate has a little bit more podge, as well as the darker coloration to reflect its new typing. In their shiny forms, Cantonian Raticate changes its mousy brown fur for a more gingery, maybe strawberry blonde colour, whilst Alolan Raticate's black switches up for a pinkish burgundy. Now let's have a look at their typing, weaknesses and resistances. Cantonian Raticate is a pure normal type Pokemon, so it's only weak to fighting type moves and it has no resistances, although it is immune to ghost type moves. As for Alolan Raticate, it's a dual type dark and normal Pokemon, making it weak to fighting, bug and fairy, with the fighting weakness being a four times weakness this time. Its new typing makes it resistant to just dark type moves, but it's still immune to ghost type moves and is now also immune to psychic type attacks. Now we'll take a look at the stats and abilities of these ratty fatties. Cantonian Raticate has a decent speed stat, although it's far from being considered a fast normal type, with average attack and special defense, with no other stats really worth shouting about. Ability-wise, Cantonian Raticate's primary ability is Run Away, which simply allows Raticate to escape from wild battles without fail, but has no effect in trainer battles. Its secondary ability is Guts, which increases Raticate's attack stat by 50% when it has a status condition. This also means Raticate's attack stat isn't affected when it's burned. This ability is a great tool for giving Raticate more firepower. You could in theory give Raticate a Flame Orb, protect first turn so the burn activates, and then have Raticate use a powered up facade with the added Guts boost. Its hidden ability is Hustle, which again increases Raticate's attack stat by 50%, but this time lowers the accuracy of Raticate's physical moves, ergo the ones affected by the attack stat, by 20%. Some people do actually prefer this to Guts because they feel the accuracy gamble is worth the risk without having to have a status condition. As for Alolan Raticate, it loses a smidge of attack and its useless special attack stat, as well as dropping some speed to make it an all-round bulkier Pokemon which does help to an extent, but it's hardly enough to keep it safe from that dreaded 4 times fighting weakness. Its primary ability is Gluttony, which causes Alolan Raticate to eat a berry at 50% or less HP, rather than at 25% or less. This is great for giving Alolan Raticate more staying power, especially if it's being targeted by two opponents. Its secondary ability is Hustle, which, as I said before, increases Alolan Raticate's attack by 50%, but reduces the accuracy of its physical attacks by 20%. For its hidden ability, Alolan Raticate gets Thick Fat, which effectively halves the damage it takes from Ice or Fire-type moves. This again is great for giving Alolan Raticate more staying power, although I'm sure it would have preferred some kind of protection against Fighting-type moves. Now it's time for me to decide which of these two Raticate forms I prefer, and personally this time, I'm gonna go Cantonian. I just think it looks more fierce, I like the way its stats are built up, I like that it's a little bit faster and a little bit harder hitting because to be honest, for the amount of extra bulk that Alolan Raticate has, it's still not enough to protect it from fighting type moves, like I know I keep going on about this throughout this video, but it has a 4 times weakness to fighting, 
fighting is a type of move that so many Pokemon can learn that even with that little bit of extra defense, special defense and HP, I just don't feel like Alolan Raticate really has a chance. But of course it's not just up to me, it's up to you guys, but before you decide which of these rats you prefer, it's time for the metronome battle, just so that you can see what these Pokemon look like on the battlefield. Before we start the battle of course I will point out, these Pokemon all have max IVs in all stats, zero EVs in all stats, they're not holding any items, they've got neutral natures, the only thing that will give them an advantage or a disadvantage is their typing and their base stats. Everything else is all up to the metronome. Let's go. Here we go, Raticate versus Raticate, Kanto versus Alola, the often overlooked normal type first root Pokemon from Generation 1. I'm interested to see what they bring to the table, see if they're going to impress us in this battle with the moves chosen by their metronome. It'd be nice to see Raticate given a time to shine, and of course goes for Tackle. Of all moves for a Raticate to use, you know, Tackle, such a typical rat attack kind of move. And we see regular Kanto goes for Shadow Punch, that's not going to hit at all, because all of the Pokemon on the field are immune to ghost type attacks. We see Flail. Full HP Flail is not really the kind of Flail you want to do. Flail is more of an end of battle situation. As we see Shiny Alola coming out with a Poison Powder onto regular Kanto. That is going to limit the amount of time that regular Kantonian Raticate is going to be in this battle and able to do any effective damage. So better start pulling your finger out, mate, because you've got work to do. Let's see what he comes up with. Let's see the response to the poison. Spirit Shackle, another ghost type move. So that's not gonna hit, just as we said previously. It's not looking good for a regular Kanto, is it? We see Metal Burst and it fails. Oh my word, the Alola team, they really, they're really on form at the moment. There's the Comet Punch, taking full advantage of that normal type, same type attack bonus. Just really, you know, get as many hits with the Comet Punch. Three hits, taking about between a quarter and a third of Shiny Kanto's HP. Encore, of course, from Shiny Alola fails, and we see more poison damage coming off from regular Kanto. So I would say Team Alola have the advantage, but it's really too early to tell at this point. Anything could happen at this point. We see Substitute for regular Kanto cutting its own HP when it's already poisoned. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was not a good move at all. Shiny Kanto comes out with Crush Grip. That's going to hit Shiny Alola. And oh my goodness, I thought it was going to knock it out. Almost knocked out Shiny Alola there. That was a pretty good move. It seems that Shiny Kanto, who's just had his special attack dropped, really is pulling the weight for the Kanto team. We see regular Alola come out with Fisher. Oh my goodness. If Fisher would have hit on Shiny Kanto, that probably would have been over for Team Kanto. My word. We see the poison damage again. Regular Kanto coming out to try and do some effective damage. Come on, do something. Goes for Seed Flare. Oh, and it misses. That's the disadvantage of... Uh, oh, no. Seed Flare's not physical. It's not affected by Hustle. Pardon my French. We see Parting Shot going to drop the attack and special attack of regular Alola. And how's the Alola team going to respond to all this? My word. Mean look. Really a useless move to move, use in a metronome battle because no one's going to be able to switch out anyway because there are no teams involved. And we see regular Alola. What are you going to come out with, dude? Calm Mind! Going to take the opportunity to raise its def uh, a special defense and its special attack, I should say. Getting ready, hopefully, to do some kind of onslaught later in the game. Let's see what happens. We see poor regular Kanto just taking more poison damage. You need to come out with a roar of time or something, dude, or, or a hydro cannon. We see String Shot slowing down the already slower team. Not a great tactic, not really going to help you in the long run. If anything, it's going to put you at a disadvantage if uh, Trick Room comes into effect at some point. What's regular Kanto going to do? I, I, I don't even want to imagine at this point what it's going to do. And it goes for Peck. Oh my word, you've really gone for Peck in this battle. It's enough to take down Shiny Alola, which is the first casualty in this battle. But let's face it, regular Kanto doesn't really have long left in this battle either. We see Alola, the only Alola and Raticate left, going for Howl. Gonna raise its attack stat. As we see more poison coming off on Kanto. Oh my word, it lives on 2 HP. It's got one more opportunity to do something in this battle. As we see Shiny Kanto start off the next turn with Drill Peck. Finally, a decent move that takes just a little bit of HP off on uh, regular Alola. 
who's been pretty safe this whole battle, to be fair. We see Water Spout, a 2 HP Water Spout. That's barely going to leave a mark, is it? Did that take off 1 HP? Did anyone see that? That took off next to nothing. Water Spout, of course, is a move that is more effective the more HP you have. We see Cotton Spore coming out. Do we need Cotton Spore? Well, actually, Alola needs Cotton Spore because it's going to harshly drop the speed of both the Cantonian Pokemon. But, of course... Regular Kanto goes out from the poison like an absolute hero. So it's down to uh, Shiny Kanto versus regular Alola. Here comes Shiny Kanto with Spore. Gonna put Alola to sleep. My word. That's probably the break that Shiny Kanto needed. Although it's, it's pretty even at this point. In terms of HP, these, these Pokemon aren't too far off. So no one has a real distinct advantage at this point. They've just dropped the dead weight from each team. As we see Shiny Kanto again goes Giga Drain. So that's going to shift the... Oh, I was, I was going to say that's going to shift the tide a little bit. But of course, the uh, the special attack drops that have happened in this match have rendered Giga Drain pretty useful at this point. We get a Alolan Raticate woken up. Goes for Explosion! Oh my word! I don't think Kanto's defense is going to stand up to that. Oh my god, and it doesn't! That means Alola won, right? No, because Shiny Kanto was the last Pokemon to feign, which makes it the winner. Kanto has won it thanks to Alola throwing the game. That's incredible. So you've heard what I've got to say, you've seen these Pokemon on the battlefield, but which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments down below, and of course explain to everybody in your comment exactly why yours is the best of the fat rats. Of course, follow me on Twitter for all my latest updates, and of course, come and hang out in one of my Twitch streams. If you would like to support the channel, I do have a Patreon, you can support me for as little as a dollar a month, there's a link in the description, and of course, subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a video from me. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam, keep on training. Thank <laughs> you.